gosh, so good to see you. Good to see you too, Stefania. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background, um, where you go to school, and some of your hobbies and interests? Cool. Um, I'm Ash. I'm 18. I'm gender fluid. Go by he, him, they, them, or she, her pronouns. I go to Foothills Academy, which is a private school for kids with LDs and ADHD. I like art, music, and I tried very hard today not to get any paint on my hands. <laughs> I see little hints of it. Little bit. But I think that's a mark of a true artist. We'll go with that. <laughs> well, so our work was actually one of the reasons that you got involved in Opera Buddies. Yeah. Um, could you tell us a little bit about how that happened? Yes. So my mom works at the school and I was at the school late because mom was working and I was working on a, a string art project in the background, kind of like looking over to see what y'all were doing because it was sounding actually pretty interesting and not super boring. So I was like, oh, what's that? Can I like half listen in? And as I was totally eavesdropping on your session, I was like, huh, I'm gonna ask if I can join. And I did, so I did. And it was really interesting. Honestly, that's the best recruitment story that I've ever had <laughs> is some I because I saw your head sort of peeking over in the background just across the library and was like oh I want them to join before that time you'd never seen an opera no but what, what did you think about opera just as in the background beforehand probably what most teenagers and kids think about opera it's one person on a stage singing in German honestly I did not find that interesting at all and I was like, ooh, I don't know if I want to get into this because it seems like it'd be very boring. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's actually really interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't, I didn't have any interest in it mm -hmm. at all before. I was like, oh, it's just something that happens. Mm -hmm. It's a classical music thing. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about Opera Buddies before you were sitting in? Um, yes. So at my school where there was a, hey, we're doing this. Here's a form if you want to join. And that was basically all the information I had, just like, you get to see an opera and hang out with old people. <laughs> so on the surface, on the surface, it's it doesn't a little sound bit interesting. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. But fast forward to actually being part of the program. What was it like seeing your first opera? Incredible. I really enjoyed it because you could feel the music from your seat. You could feel like the singers on stage and the musicians in the pit. Mm -hmm. It was also really interesting to see that it was an actual like production and not just a single person or two people on a stage. It was a show. It was a performance of many different people all like putting their heart and soul into their roles and it was really interesting to see how much passion each person had. Mm -hmm. Even if they were like a little background character that you could hardly see, it was like it felt organic on the stage. It wasn't felt, it didn't feel forced. Mm -hmm. It was really, really cool. What was it like just being in the theater? Because I think that's something you might not expect too, to when you actually go to the theater and how big yeah. the Jubilee is. It's big. <laughs> it's way bigger than I thought. And it's like you're sitting down in your seat, the curtains are closed, and you're waiting for the show to start. And you're like, oh, that is a lot of people around me. Wow there's a lot of people that want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> and then the curtains open and you're like, holy crap, that stage is huge. Wow, there's a lot of people on that stage. There's a lot of people involved with this. I wonder how many moving parts are there in the background. Oh, like, there's a lot. <laughs> there's, it's just mind boggling how detailed and intricate the entire thing is. Mm -hmm. So we talked about Opera Buddies coming to the shows, but there are other parts of Opera Buddies. What actually happens in an Opera Buddies session? Well, you show up, there's typically water and food. You sit down and you learn some words with opera. You go over a basic, basic storyline of what's in the opera that you're seeing, and then you talk about it with whoever else is there. And I really enjoyed that part. And those conversations, while they start about opera, sometimes don't always continue about opera, because conversations. And so who were the people who are participating in Opera Buddies? There were some old folks, there were some younger folks, there were some families, there was a couple teenagers. What were some of the comments that came up in discussion that were interesting to you? Um, a lot about the language, because I really enjoy languages. And uh, seeing a show in a different language is very different from seeing a show in your native language. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a second language or it's a foreign language, it's completely different. It was really, really fun. 
mm -hmm. enjoyed that. <laughs> well, I just had so many times where I was listening to the conversation and it's almost like you're expecting something, but then someone has a completely sort of a perspective that you would never expect. With the Macbeth one, uh, Macbeth is in the high school curriculum. So 90% of people have know the story of Macbeth. But I did Macbeth last year and the person who I was talking with was from America and they hadn't done Macbeth. They'd heard it, but they hadn't really had any idea. Mm -hmm. Like we had lines of songs and we had to match them in order, what order we thought they were in. And the person who was next to me was like, I think it's this one. And I'm like, huh, I'd never thought of it that way. That actually might be right. It wasn't, <laughs> but um, it was very interesting to see how they put the song that was at the very end, at the very beginning. And what was it like going to see the opera after having had that kind of a discussion? It added another layer of depth to the entire thing and a different perspective. You could look at it one way and see the story for what it was, and you could look at it a different way and see a different story from a different character's perspective. Having those conversations allowed that shift in perspective a lot more, mm -hmm. rather than just being like, I'm gonna focus on the main character's story and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Having those conversations like, hey, I can focus on the little background character that's having a fight with her parent. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, I know what scene you're, you're thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you've gone to Carmen and you came back from Macbeth. Yeah. Why did you come back to the program? Originally, I looked at the Macbeth one and was like, oh, That'd be so cool because I enjoy Shakespeare and I was like, I didn't know it was an opera. Let's see it. I came back because I enjoyed it. It was a good fit. Yes, <laughs> it, it was. Do you think it was also a good fit for people who maybe didn't like Shakespeare or yeah. didn't know the, the play it, beforehand? Yeah. If you didn't know Shakespeare or anything like that, it was still a really well done story. It followed both like Shakespeare's interpretation and a still modern day kind of show and production mm -hmm. most important like mm -hmm. lady macbeth's expressions were so clear even like from the very back mm -hmm. exactly and do you think the music also influenced that yeah having the live music especially really really helped and being able to see because i where i was sitting i could see the pit a bit and i could see who was playing and like looking down and being able to see that actual people were playing it and not just a recording was really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was that your first time hearing a live orchestra? Or? Not my first time, but first time in a while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a different experience yeah. than hearing something recorded or even like amplified music because it's, you know, it's acoustic. It's yeah. the voice, the instruments. Yeah, it was. And then there was certain times where their music faded out a bit and it was just the voice or the, there was so much music and hardly any voice. It was mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. the, the, the byplay between the two. Mm -hmm. And so this is like another thing that some people kind of going into it would, we talked about language, how, oh, it's in a foreign language. Do you, did you find that was like a barrier or? No, because there was the words at the top. So even if you couldn't understand the language, you could follow along with the words. Mm -hmm. So look, being able to look up and be like, oh, I know that word. That's what that word is. Mm -hmm. And being able to, it was interesting. What about the length? Talking about things that are drawn out, you know, going to see a two and a half hour show, what was that like? Long, but it held my interest the entire time. And it wasn't like just sitting there being like, I want this over with. It was sitting there being like, oh, I'm engaged. I'm sitting upright, I'm listening. I and mean, there was also the intermission. So it wasn't just like a solid, however long it was. Honestly, I've watched movies that have been shorter that I've found harder to sit through. Well, Ash, what would you say is was the favorite part of the program or of coming to see the operas? I really enjoyed when I had my feet on the floor and could be able to feel the vibrations in like the wood and the building. It was really, really cool, especially during at the end of Carmen. Mm -hmm. The build up and crescendo in the music, you could just feel it. it so cool. Mm -hmm. I got goosebumps. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. That was my favorite part. Well, I have to say that one of the special things for me is uh, as a teaching artist with Opera Buddies is that I get to see all of you before you come to see the show. Mm -hmm. And so it feels special to know somebody who's in the audience. Um, what was it like for you having somebody who's in the show leading a program? It was really, really cool. I had this uh, I was sitting next to someone who was also part of the Opera Buddies and we kept trying to see who could spot you first. I won, <laughs> obviously. And it wasn't just like a, oh, I'm just gonna see a bunch of random strangers. It was, I'm gonna see 
someone I know in a show that is very, very professional and very, very well done. <laughs> what would you say to someone who hears the word opera and thinks it's not for them? Try it because uh, I thought the same thing and then I went and it wasn't. You only live once, so why not go and see it? And that's one of the things I really enjoy about it is that you can be 17 or you can be 70 yeah. and still get something out of your first time yeah. at and the opera. And the different perspectives of the different generation in the opera buddies meeting just before and after were like, oh, I didn't think of it that way because that's not how I think at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. It was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I like that part too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ash, uh, last, last comment. Is there anything else that we haven't talked about or anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. I think we covered all the bases. You should go to the opera. It's really fun. <laughs>